So as most of you know, my birthday was on Tuesday. It was on February 16th, and it was also my 30th birthday. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that yet. I'm a little bit... I have mixed feelings, let's just say that. But anyways, my fiancé and I, instead of him going shopping and getting me a bunch of gifts and surprising me, we just went out shopping together. And it was kind of a spur-of-the-moment thing. We went out to dinner, and then we were going to go to a movie. We were going to see the new Deadpool movie, but it was sold out. So instead, my fiancé is like, let's go shopping. And I was like, okay. So we did that, and we went to Best Buy, and we went to Ulta. So our two favorite stores pretty much um, and I got stuff at both so most of it's makeup most of it um, I'm gonna share with you is makeup but there was one thing that I got at Best Buy and yeah I am just gonna share with you guys what I got when I went shopping for my birthday <laughs> so the thing I got from Best Buy is right here and this is a Fitbit this is actually something that Mike had wanted to get for me for Christmas but he said he didn't because he didn't know what kind I wanted so we kind of went together and I got to pick out the kind I wanted and there are like there's such a range like they they range from like $70 to $250 plus and I just got the cheap cheapest little one because I don't need any fancy like tech with it you know I don't even know really how to use this I'm just um you know, I'm just using it to track my basic activity throughout the day. Ever since I quit my job as a CNA, which was just about a year ago, actually, um, I quit working full time and I work from home now and I, you know, stay home with my daughter and stuff. Ever since I did that, I have not been nearly as active as I used to be. So I was really excited to get this. And of course, I'm trying to get in shape for my wedding in October. So all of those things, this is just a really nice... A really nice gift really nice thing to have so if you guys are fit if you guys have a Fitbit and you want to be like Fitbit buddies because I hear that that's a thing let me know because I'm always up for buddies I don't really know how it works but whatever okay let's get into the makeup <laughs> so the first thing that I saw when I walked into Ulta I didn't actually like put it in my hands until we had walked around the store one whole time but I eventually did decide that I needed it. Actually, I think Mike ended up picking it up because he knew that I wanted it. And he said, well, you're gonna get this, so you might as well just pick it up now. And that is the Urban Decay Vice Limited Reloaded Palette. This is their limited edition. This is the second Vice palette they've released this year. The first one was around the holidays, and I have that one. And this one is sort of a... I guess it's just a second limited edition release. I don't really know what their thought process is behind it, but um, let me show it to you. So this is what it looks like, and all of these products pretty much I've been using, so if it looks like they've been used, it's because they have. Um, I just couldn't wait, but this is actually what I'm wearing today as well. So I'm wearing the shade Asphyxia, which is this like iridescent purple, and then I'm wearing this shade Road Stripe on my inner corner, and that's all I'm wearing over a primer that's it and I am just obsessed especially with the inner corner like I'm obsessed with how it looks and it looks like it's pulling a little bit purple it's just amazing I'm gonna do a full review and tutorial on this palette so keep your eyes out for that but in the meantime let me just say amazing and every vice palette that comes out I think like no way can their colors be as good as the last one and every vice palette it just never ceases to impress me so yay I'm super excited about this Okay, the next thing I got is something that I knew I wanted to get going in. I knew I wanted to find this. I've been wanting this for a long time, and this is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I've heard so many good things about this foundation. I just have been wanting to try it, and I don't buy high-end foundations a lot. Honestly, the only high-end foundation that I own is my Arbonne foundation, and and that's that's one of my holy grail foundations. If you have seen my tutorials, you know that I use that one all the time. But I wanted to try this one. I've heard good things about it. And they're cruelty-free, which I am leaning towards sort of slowly transitioning to be cruelty-free. Everything in this haul, by the way, is cruelty-free. So, um, yeah, just, just so you know. <laughs> but I'm not officially like 100% cruelty-free yet. I'm just working my way towards that. So anyways, this is the Born This Way foundation. And the only thing that was a little bit disappointing is the shade. Now, I am wearing it today, and I feel like it looks pretty good. Today, I have a lot of concealer on, too, like highlighting and stuff. But, um... It just seems like a, a little bit too dark and I was swatching all the shades and I felt like my shade would have been in between two shades and they just didn't quite have it and I was looking for a worker a worker an employee <laughs> a worker that sounds funny I was looking for an employee to help me to kind of help color match me but they were all busy and it was a Saturday night so I guess it makes sense that 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 happens I've never been there when they've been that busy but anyways so 
so nobody nobody really helped me. I was just kind of playing around with the with the testers and swatching and stuff. And I I picked out this shade and Mike kind of helped me as I blended it out. He's he's agreed that that was the best closest one to me. And I do feel like it's a tad dark, but right now I feel like it looks okay. And I think that in the summer it'll be great because I'll get a little bit of a glow going on in the summer. I tan even if I wear sunscreen no matter what. I can't help but get a tan. So and I'm gonna do a full review on this once I've had enough time to form my opinion on but it. In the meantime, I am enjoying using this. The next thing I got is this Tarte Tardis Contour Palette. Is that what it's called? Yep, it's called the Contour Palette. And this is one that I've really been wanting to try. I, again, most of this stuff is stuff that's been on my mind for a long time that I've been wanting to try for a long time. I'm a huge fan of contour palettes in general. I love trying them and experimenting with them and just having all those different colors in my arsenal because I'm just one of those people that like to try different things. When I sit down to do my makeup, um, especially if it's like for fun, like if I don't have anywhere really to go or I have time, I like to just play around with different shades and different things and it's just really fun for me. So I'm always, I'm always open to trying new contour palettes. I know that some people think that they're kind of a waste because they have so many color selections that people think that they might not need that much selection and that's probably true. A lot of people probably don't, but I don't need it either. I just enjoy playing with those different shades. So anyways, this is what it looks like. <laughs> it has these two contour shades here. This one, which is called Correct. This one is called Highlight and this is called Accentuate. This is basically a blush. And then in the middle, it doesn't tell me what that one's called, but it looks like it has a little bit of a shimmer. Yeah, and it's very fine. That almost, I wonder if it could be a setting powder. I haven't been, the only one I've really been using is this yellow correcting powder I have under my eyes today. The other ones I haven't really played around with that much, but I, again, want to do a review on this, and that's really pretty. This middle one that I just swatched is like, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got like a pretty gleam, shine, glow to it. So anyways, I do want to do a full review on this, so keep your eyes out for that. Also from Urban Decay, I picked up their Chill Makeup Setting Spray. Now, I have tried their D-Slick Setting Spray before, and I really like it. It's really good if you have oily skin or if you're hot and sweaty, if you're doing something that you're going to get hot and sweaty. You know what I'm trying to say. Ah. <laughs> the D-Slick Setting Spray is really nice if you have oily skin or whatever if you want to keep your skin matte um if you have like an extra oily foundation whatever it is but i find it to be a little bit too drying especially in the winter i find it to just f makes my skin feel like almost like cracky and you know what i mean when your skin feels too dry so i wanted to find something that would have the same staying power as the d slick setting spray but wouldn't have that drying extra drying feeling so I'm trying this one. It says that it's supposed to be cooling and hydrating. It also says that it has cool, cooling time release temperature control technology that actually chills the surface of your makeup to keep it looking gorgeously just applied for up to 12 hours. So really what I want to do is I want to find the perfect setting spray for my wedding because I'm leaning towards doing my own makeup for my wedding. I'm not 100% sure, but I probably will. So I want to find the perfect setting spray for that. And this lasting 12 hours, kind of worries me because I might need it to last longer than that but um but we'll see and I like the fact that it's hydrating so I was also hoping for something that you know if I do get that drying feeling that I could spray on just like throughout the day to kind of hydrate my skin while I have makeup on so I'm really excited to try this I have tried it a couple times but I haven't tried it for long enough periods of time to know really what I think of it so I will definitely keep you guys posted on this one. Next I got a bunch of NYX products and like I mentioned before I am slowly trying to make the transition to be all cruelty free here on my channel so I wanted to kind of try some cruelty free brands and hopefully build up my collection of cruelty free products so that's why I'm trying all these NYX products in case you're wondering like well you already have concealers you like like I do but I want to try some other ones. So I got two concealers from NYX. I got their HD concealer. It's high definition mineral enriched formulated without talc and parabens and this one has a doe foot applicator so this one I was hoping to use and have been using under my eyes. It's a little bit thick but that's okay and so far I really do like it. And then the next one is the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer. Okay, waterproof. Nice. So this one is a little bit thicker and this one I wanted to try, well both of them I wanted to try for whatever they would work for, but this one I've been using um, to cover up dark spots and blemishes before I put foundation on. So this is even thicker than the, um, than the high definition one. So this one I put on today like right here on both sides of my face is where I get 
I have a lot of dark spots and I get little tiny bumps like not real breakouts but like small bumps and and I've been covering those up with this so I put this here and even down on my neck I get them a little bit so I put that on first blend it out with a concealer brush and then I put my foundation on so that's what I've been using this one for and then lastly I got this NYX wonder stick in the shade universal color so I'm not sure about their shade names because they have like actual shade names like light medium and dark I think but then they have this one which is universal and I will show you what it looks like so it's got this sort of contour deal on one end and a highlight deal on the other end that's what they're called highlight and contour and I don't know I've I've tried this one once and I didn't, didn't really get it like I I've never cream contoured before to be honest and I just didn't really know what I was doing plus it's very warm it's almost more of like a bronzer yeah you can see that I mean not even that much darker than my skin either but it's definitely more of maybe like bronzing up the face rather than actually creating that shadow of a contour and then this is the highlight and that does have a bit of a shimmer to it too yeah you can see that so that's neat I haven't tried the highlight on my face yet but I have tried the contour and like I said I'm not sure how it's gonna work for contour but for bronzing I think it'll be nice so that's that's that guy I just wanted to give that a try I've had my eye on it for a while like I said most of these things I have okay then the last things I wanted to show you are some samples you guys I got some really nice samples at this trip and I just wanted to remind you if you go to Ulta or Sephora for that matter but especially Ulta always ask if they have any samples just like th that's what I did and if I hadn't we would have walked out with none of these samples all I said as, as we were checking out was do you guys have any samples and it was like it was like that reminded them or they I don't know I don't know what their policy is but I imagine like if they're pretty busy they're not gonna stop and get samples but since I asked they did and since I bought that Tarte contour palette I got two samples from Tarte and these are like deluxe size samples these are not like one use like look at this oh my gosh I'm just so excited okay so this is their smooth operator um, Amazonian clay finishing powder so it's closed but it's just a loose finishing powder in there and I'm especially excited to try these just because I've never tried them before it's probably not something I would necessarily purchase unless I already heard good things about it but now since I have a good size sample to try if I like it I will definitely repurchase and then the next one is this clean slate timeless smoothing primer now at first I thought that this was an eye primer just because of the size of it but it's actually a face primer at least I'm like 99% sure it's supposed to be it doesn't say eyes on it anywhere it just says base primer so I think that's what it is and then touching it I definitely thought that because it has that like it, it reminds me of it reminds me of a L'Oreal one I used to try but it also reminds me of the Benefit Pore Professional which is kind of my holy grail for pore filling unfortunately Benefit is not cruelty free so I'm looking for a cruelty free option and I wore this today and I like it so far um, you guys can let me know what you think I think it did a pretty good job of filling my pores so I mean there's nothing that will completely erase your pores at least nothing I've found so if you know of something please feel free to tell me but um but I I do like this one so far and just look at the sample I mean it's such a nice little jar and it's just so so cute I just was so thrilled even Mike when he left he was like wow like you got all that stuff just by asking and I was like I know that's why you always have to ask so I'm reminding you guys always ask for samples I also got this deluxe size sample of this Urban Decay mascara. I think it's deluxe size. I don't know. But it's their Perversion Mascara, which I have tried before. And I actually am using one right now that I got in my Naked on the Run palette. It's not my favorite mascara, I can tell you that right now. It doesn't quite have the volumizing, like, super thick, full, amazing lashes that I like. But, but I mean, it's a nice everyday mascara. And it's awesome that I got a sample of that, so. And then the last one is just this Morning Whisper aqua flower and citrus body lotion by the brand Ulta I knew Ulta make makeup and I have quite a bit of their makeup in fact I want to do a best of Ulta brand makeup I think but I didn't know they made body products I didn't know they made like bath and body products so this is new to me so I'm really excited to try this I almost tried it but I was like I just want to wait until I haul it so I can show you guys like this I guess I don't know here you go <laughs> but yeah so I'm really excited to try this body lotion okay guys that is it for my birthday shopping haul I hope you enjoyed this if you did please give this video a thumbs up that helps other people find it in the YouTube world make sure you're subscribed to my channel I post videos three days a week and make sure you're following me on my social media Instagram Twitter snapchat I also have a blog and that's all I have for this haul thanks again guys I will talk to you again very soon bye